What's up everyone, this is Ryuka, and today I'm going to give an update on this whole age restriction nonsense. Um, I do want to mention this recording is being done on the 8th of August in the afternoon in 2021. It depends when I upload this, it might be a day later or so, but I'm recording this as of the 8th. So... Just be aware, there may be some language, and I may go off on a rant. That's possible. Now that I got that out of the way, I'm going to get into this. So I don't know how I am going to title this video, but this is an update, nonetheless. And as you see here, in this image, uh, it shows the emails that YouTube has sent. So. On the 5th, YouTube sent me that my video has been age restricted. And then on the 6th, they sent me two emails basically saying the same exact thing. Now, after the 24 hours have passed in both these emails, nothing showed up at that time. No videos, no nothing. Even when I clicked the link and looked up and down, nothing showed up. And then I made a video talking about this. And then an hour later... All these age-restricted videos showed up. I was surprised. I'm like, wait a second. I received three emails, but clearly this is more than three. And what was what was age-restricted? Mortal Kombat, of all things. Mortal Kombat 11 got age-gated to oblivion on my channel. Pretty much almost my whole playlist got age-restricted. And this was frustrating for me to see because I know that I am within the terms of service. I know I'm within the community guidelines. Mortal Kombat is fiction. It's fantasy. Yes, it's violent. Yes, it's gory. But it's not real. It's not real life. Right? And based on YouTube's community guidelines, it has to be real. It has to be like a real person. But Mortal Kombat isn't real. But YouTube is saying that it is and therefore that's why it's age-gated. Right? My, my playthrough. For the most part, most mostly all the videos, as you see here, practically almost all the videos. Okay, so when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is this is the way YouTube responds because I had to tag them in a tweet when I did the video talking about the age restricted thing. And then an hour later, they're like, here you go. Boom, more than three for you. Right? Okay. So I go and appeal. And there's no point in me showing all the appeals. I'm going to say why right now. Because they all say the same thing. So, YouTube sends this email with the title, Ryuka Gaming, we have reached a decision on your appeal. And I was like, oh, maybe they're going to let go. Maybe someone actually sat there and looked into this. was like, yeah, it's a game, you know. But I don't know what's going on, right? I don't know what's going on over there in the clown house of YouTube. So, YouTube sends me this email, and I'm going to read it. Hi, Ryuka Gaming. We have reviewed your appeal for the following content. Video Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath Classic Tower Shiva. We have reviewed your content carefully. Excuse me. We reviewed your content carefully and have confirmed that it violates our community guidelines. We know this is probably disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. Uh-huh. How this affects your channel. We will continue to age restrict your content as we don't think it's suitable for younger audiences. This means it will not be visible to users who are logged out are under the 18 years of age or have restricted mode enabled. It also won't be eligible for ads. Learn more about age restriction. Sincerely, the YouTube team. So I am. <laughs> I have to collect myself here because there's not enough curse words that run through my mind for this response. Um, this. YouTube, for YouTube to, to put here and say that it's they're trying to make YouTube a safe place for all is laughable. 
Regular YouTube by itself, it's easily an 18 plus platform. There is content on this platform that is a hundred times worse than what I can ever upload. Okay. And yet there's content creators out there that do get away with stuff like this. I mean, YouTube wants to sit here and say, we want to make it a safe place for all. What about some of these highly questionable music videos that get ignored? And YouTube just rolls his eyes at because they're making money off of it as well. That's not a conspiracy, by the way, YouTube. I mean, people should actually read the descriptions every now and then to some of these music videos and see who else is taking a chunk of change from it. But yet, my video, my Mortal Kombat 11 playthrough, which the thumbnails are YouTube safe. I put viewer discretion is advised in the far top right corner, and that's not good enough. And in the last couple DLC characters, I even go as far as to put viewer discretion is advised in the video, and that's not good enough. But yet, they all get age gated. Okay. Okay. This. YouTube, what's the point of you having YouTube kids when you're trying to make regular YouTube for kids? The last that I check, people come to YouTube, and maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure most people that come to YouTube come for the content creators, not for the celebrities and corporate media crap that's on this platform. But I get it, YouTube, it, you know, you're, you're all about the advertisers, right? Advertisers. Because the advertisers are in this platform, right? Running it to the ground. That's what they're doing. And YouTube is just letting them do it, to be honest with you. But anyways. So when this happened, obviously, I was frustrated. I have no way to contact anyone at YouTube. I have no way to really solve this problem. It's just, it is what it is. They're just age restricting the videos and they're not going to budge. But there's more. So, YouTube went after uh, an old live stream. Yes, I said old live stream. By old, a couple years old, actually. Uh, this was roughly May 2017. And YouTube decided, hey, we're going to you know, go after your Origin Bar Z2 Chaos playthrough. So, they didn't age restrict the first part. Not the third part, not the fourth part, but the second part. And that <laughs> that part has the banana and strawberry costume DLC being used in that playthrough. Now, I'm like, okay, you know, th this this is ridiculous. The, the, the terms of service and the community guidelines in 2017 were a different thing. And yet again, I I'll say it I'll say it again. It's a video game. It's not real. It's fantasy. Yeah, Origin Bar is gory. Yeah, it has violence, but it, it's, it's a video game. It's not real, okay? But for whatever reason, YouTube decided to age restrict it, and I think it has more to do with the banana strawberry costumes. But why now in 2021? So you're saying, YouTube, that the content isn't being grandfathered in and that content that was okay maybe a couple years ago isn't okay now so therefore that content creator should be punished for that content that was uploaded or done in a different time frame under different terms of service under different community guidelines in my opinion youtube you're breaking your own damn rules that's how i'm seeing it there is other bias here and guess what i could appeal this and they're going to shoot this one down because i haven't appealed uh the orchard bar one yet and the Mortal Kombat, yeah, and guess what? What you said, what you just saw with just one of them was, eh, we ain't gonna pass it through. And it's gonna most likely be the same for this one because I'm a small channel. You know, YouTube cares so much for its content creators. Not really. But yeah, sure, whatever. So, they went after Origin Bar. Now, fun fact about this playthrough, I did four parts. Each part, I used different costumes for the characters, right? Uh, I, be I believe the first part had their default. The second part had the banana strawberries. And then the other two had different ones, different costumes. Now, the thumbnails in these playthroughs, in my opinion, are YouTube safe. So, yet again, kind of the same argument I'm using. The YouTube safe thumbnails, it says on the top right corner, view discretion is advised. 
You know, when someone types in Ori, Ori Chambara, and the same can be said for Mortal Kombat, most likely they know what they're looking for. Okay? Because that's a lot to type in. It's not one or two words here. We're talking about a lot of words. But, you know, YouTube doesn't care. But there's more. There's always more. So, to me, YouTube's rules and, and the whole rules for thee, not for me, I, I, I believe that's a very real thing on this platform. That's, that's just my opinion. But anyways, in this screenshot you see here, uh, it's three videos, right? And I want to be very clear. I'm not targeting these channels. I'm using it as a example. Now you can clearly see GameSpot's gameplays thumbnail for every fatality, Mortal Kombat 11, Ultimate in 4K, right? And you see Rambo's head, all the blood, all the gore in the thumbnails. And, you know, it, and if YouTube wants to go down this rabbit hole about, oh, you violated our TOS, our community guidelines. Well, then why the hell is this thumbnail still up? This was eight months ago, right? Oh, doesn't this violate your TOS, YouTube? Oh, man, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, the way YouTube applies this, right? And then you got Super's thumbnail. Arguably, it's a safe thumbnail. In my opinion, it's a pretty safe thumbnail. Yeah, there's a gun. Who cares? It's a safe thumbnail, right? It just shows RoboCop. This is Ro and in the video though, which could be said for the same of the first one, there's fatalities and whatnot. So in Super's video, yeah, it's, it's fatalities. It means it's the title. This RoboCop brutality is amazing. Yes, Super is doing the brutalities. Yes, it's not censored. It's just a regular playthrough. It's him playing through the game or gameplay, as his title says, right? And then you have Mortal Kombat 11 official announced trailer. NetherRealm's channel or Mortal Kombat's channel. Now, I have to point out here, they all have check marks, but the views vary, right? In GameSpot's case for their gameplay channel, they have... 6.3 million views and counting and super's case he has 44k views and counting and mind you this is, i'm gonna get shortly why this is interesting and then you have Mortal Kombat 11's case with the official announced trailer uh 9.7 million views and and based on youtube's new rules and whatnot they can still make money off all this stuff even if it's like you know age restricted or demonetized or whatever they're still making money off of this right so the first one we'll go into is uh every fatality mortal kombat 11. you see the likes dislikes the the date this was uploaded which was november 17 2020 what's interesting is if you look at the far left corner here it does not say age restricted or anything nothing it has nothing on it it's totally fine. So not only that the thumbnail, based on YouTube's community guidelines, violates YouTube's community guidelines, but the video itself showing all these fatalities and all this stuff. I mean, as soon as you start the video, Rain's go already going in on Milena. But this is not age gated, right? This is this is totally okay. Why is that YouTube? Can you explain? Oh wait, wait, you can't because you don't care. Right, it's rules for D, not for me. But I'm gonna go on here. Now, super, super. This is a more recent video as of the time of me recording this, and it's having some matches, doing his thing, and during the during this gameplay or whatever, he does do some brutalities, fatalities, X-ray moves, whatever. But there's still stuff shown, right? This is not age gated though youtube's th uh, though super thumbnail is youtube safe in my opinion because you know youtube may change what they defy as safe um the video itself based on youtube's community guidelines violates their community guidelines so why his isn't age restricted is it his subscriber number is it because he got a check mark what, what's going on? YouTube, what's happening? I mean, the same could be said for GameSpot. Well, what's going on, right? And then 
<laughs> uh, this this one I find uh, uh, just the the the, the ironicness. And <laughs> it's oh man, mind blowing. Mortal Kombat's channel, right? Their announcement trailer. Nine plus million views. But what do you see in the bottom left corner there? Age restricted video based on community guidelines. Okay, so let me get this straight. The developers of the game gets their announcement trailer, which has nine plus million views, by the way. That means nine million people found a way to watch this video, most likely not even logged in. Because people can find a way. Okay. So 9 million people found a way to watch this trailer. 9 million plus. They have quite a bit of likes. And I myself dropped a like on this. Because at the time when I watched this, you know, I was I was hyped as much as everyone else. I was like, oh, they're having a more combat 11, da, da, da. But this video gets age restricted. But the other examples I showed that wasn't the same. Right, so <sighs> oh my gosh. So the way YouTube applies this is extremely questionable. Now, got to go back in time a little bit more here to the game theorist. Also has a check mark. Has currently, as of this recording, fourteen plus million subscribers. He does a video called Game Theory. Is Mortal Kombat's killer screen possible, right? And in the start of this video, as you see in the screenshot, you see that, well, she was about to get her head blown off. She's getting fatalityed, right? Now, I'll leave a link down below to all the videos that I'm mentioning here, in case y'all want to look into it further. But... Point being here is that this is not even age restricted either. And this is based on an older Mortal Kombat game, right? So why is that? I mean, and and and, and what bothers me about this is that it, this is 2014. Yet I get a video of Origin Bar or Z2 Chaos from 2017. I'm getting punished for a old a live stream because that was I done that live. That was a live stream. I'm getting punished for that. One video so far, anyways, because I don't know if they're gonna start going after the Resident Evil or what next. And if I go to appeal this, guess what? YouTube shoots down my damn appeal. But you have content from 2014 that's not age restricted, that's still violent based on YouTube's current community guidelines. But these rules are applied unevenly across the board. Period. Now, it could be argued maybe YouTube ain't doing nothing to these videos because they bring so many views that why why age restricted? It's making them money. Fun fact though, even if it's age restricted, YouTube still makes money off of every little video uploaded onto this damn site. Age restricted, demonetized or not, whatever, they make money off of it. If anyone actually read the terms of service, they make money off of everything and anything. Because it's their site, it's their rules, right? That are applied unevenly. So, I feel like my channel's being targeted. That's just my opinion. All of a sudden, my whole Mortal Kombat playlist is age-gated. I dispute and, and go for appeals on these, and they all get shot down one behind another. But yet, it does not take much searching to see that there's tons of content on the platform that's very similar, whether it's playthroughs or gameplay or whatever, and they're not age-gated. But I'm being targeted, right? I'm the one being targeted. Even though my thumbnails are YouTube safe for the Mortal Kombat 11 playthroughs, I'm being targeted. And even and it goes as far as to going after my old live streams. YouTube, you're pathetic. That is so petty. You went after my old live streams, and that's what makes me think 
that someone at YouTube, some employee that maybe had to turn in some quarters that had to show they did something that day, was like, well, we're going to go after the whole playlist of this guy because it's so easy, and we just find something else. And I don't know who's reviewing my appeals. I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. Because the way I see it, whether if it's a bot or not, it's, it's possible it could be a bot. I don't know. They get automatically shot down. The responses are fast. Snap of a finger fast. Okay. So I could go on all day ranting and, and complaining about the bullshittery with this platform and the biases and the hypocrisy and whatnot. And, you know, and YouTube, for them to be like, oh, you know, the, the whole bullying thing that they have going on too every now and then that they talk about, oh, they're against cyberbullying, whatever. YouTube, you bully your own damn small content creators. I mean, this this is one way to do it. When, imagine a small content creator just uploaded a playthrough of Mortal Kombat. They just wanted to create a channel, see something like that. They wouldn't know what to do. They'll probably get scared, nervous, and they'll probably just shut down their channel or just delete it. Because they don't know how to fight any of this stuff. And what's your response, YouTube? Well, you come here, everybody. Keep coming. We're, we're the best. You know, you know, we're, 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 we're totally fair. You're kidding me? Fair? YouTube is, is not fair for jack shit. Fair my ass. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up with this. The Game Theorist, also a check mark. Okay, did a video a long time ago, roughly December 7th, 2019. I'll leave a link down to that video below, by the way, where Game Theory Uncensored interview with YouTube CEO, and I'm not even going to bother mentioning her name. I'm not, because this woman has ruined YouTube single handedly, in my opinion. She has, for various different reasons. But he has this interview with her. And this interview is mainly about games. You know, game, the, uh, channels that do gameplay and whatnot. You know, mainly game focus. You know, gamer focus, if anything. And roughly around the 17 to 18 minute mark, he asks, the, he asks a question about Mortal Kombat and violent games and stuff. And I can tell you right now, this video did not age well. <laughs> In 2021, looking back at this video, it did not age well. It really did not. And I encourage some of you to watch this. Because if you hear the stuff that is said. And you hear what's going on today. And what's happening now on YouTube. It's night and day. The advertisers, right? <laughs> that, oh, man. This platform... It's 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 in the dark ages to be to, to, to just to say for it just is and it's very possible it may not come out of this. It's very possible that YouTube is going in a direction that's it's it's really gonna be the next MySpace. I'm I'm convinced if they just if they keep going this way with the all the stuff they've been doing, it, they're gonna be done for. This site is gonna be just a relic of the past. People will move on to another thing and everyone will just leave the site. And not like content creators ain't leaving the site now. But what's going to happen when YouTube keeps losing money? What's going to happen when YouTube can't even pay all content creators more because they keep demonetizing, censoring, doing all this stuff? Then you have content creators that, that are going to barely make anything on this platform. Then why stick around? And maybe that's what YouTube wants. Maybe they want everyone to get out of here so they could keep, you know, their celebrities or their corporate media, whatever crap they want to do on this site. And then eventually it just rivers away into nothing. I can say this though, as a small content creator, YouTube has given me the reach that obviously I, that, that you can only get right now on YouTube. Yes. I, I thank them for that. Hey, I, I got an audience here. And I'm thankful for everyone who has subscribed and tuned in. But I'm not thankful for anything else that YouTube provides. All this unnecessary headache, all this other bullshittery that I'm seeing. No, I'm not thankful for none of that. There's a lot of bias on this platform. The, the system of YouTube is broken. 
And, and, and YouTube can sit there and say, although there's no biases, oh yes, I show some examples here today in this video. And there's no, and I'm pretty sure there's never going to be an explanation to this. So what YouTube is going to tell me, oh, well, it was a bug. So that's why all your videos were age restricted. Oh, you won't come back. Okay, I would believe that until all my appeals got shot down. So the way I see it, no, it's rules for thee, not for me on this platform. And what you're doing is, in my opinion, YouTube, you're bullying small content creators when you hit them with things like this. Because you know a lot of people ain't going to know what to do with stuff like this. But I, as a small content creator, have to raise my voice, make a video, bitch about all this, and to see if anyone will see it and maybe raise awareness of this problem, even though someone does. There is no guarantee YouTube is going to fix this. You know why? Because for every step YouTube takes going forward, they literally take almost 10 steps back. And make things worse for everyone on this platform. And the ones that pay the price ain't the big celebrities that come on here to make extra money. It ain't their special YouTubers that are within their golden circle. It's the small content creators. It's the content creators that are not in their club, okay, that get screwed over. That's what happens on this platform constantly, all the time. There's so many problems with this platform that gets ignored. It's crazy. I could make a separate video exposing all of this. There wouldn't be enough videos, to be honest with you, to do this kind of content. You could go on all day exposing one problem behind. There is channels dedicated to exposing many of these problems on YouTube. And I don't see YouTube getting any better, in my opinion. I just don't. I've dealt with so much unnecessary crap on my channel the past couple years on this channel when it comes to YouTube. It's the same way. And, and I mentioned it before. Broken copyright system, false thumbnail takedowns. I mean, the list goes on. And yet, I'm dealing with... I, I'm still dealing with crap. Now, I'm, I, I, I got this. Age restrictions. What's next? You're going to age restrict all the Resident Evil, all my Resident Evil content? I mean, if that's the case, why why isn't everyone's age restricted then? Well, you know, if you're going to age restrict all my Mortal Kombat content, all my Mortal Kombat 11 content, that is, that is, in my opinion, the thumbnails are YouTube safe. The game, it's a game. It's not real life. It's fake. It's fantasy. It's not, it's not real. But yet, it still gets age-gated. If that's the case, why isn't everyone under the sun on YouTube age-gated as well? Why isn't that happening? Or was it that it was an employee trying to have a field day and it was just like, I'm going to go in here and stamp, 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 stamp. I'm going to stamp all this. I'm going to stamp it all, man. You know, so I can show how I did something today. Pathetic. And now I have to appeal, which I've already done, appeal this, but then just to get a response that says pretty much, hey, you know, we're not changing our mind. You, you, you can deal with it. You know, we don't care if you see all of this other stuff, man. Look, man, if if one of our, if, if one of the celebrities that played remote combat, I best to believe we're not going to age restrict them. They're going to be good. If one of our golden YouTube, you know, our, our the stars that we pick, you know, do a playthrough. Like, we're not going to touch the meter. You know, they're good. You, you're not in our club. So, uh, we wish you luck. You know, if it comes your way, it is what it is. Man. Uh, YouTube talks about bullying. They're the biggest ones. <laughs> oh, man. This platform is um, going down the drain fast. I, I just... I just, all I can do is make a video exposing some of this. There's really not enough time in the world, in my opinion, to expose enough of this. You know, I got a life too. But I can say that I understand everyone's frustrations when they see things like this happen to their channel and they and then they see like all these other things, like all these other channels that are corporate or whatever. And it's just like, what the hell, you know? But yeah, I'm done talking about this for now. So far, as of this recording, 
um that's what's been age gated that that's what what you're seeing and 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 i will source the videos that i'm talking about all, all the evidence you know to everything i've talked about and um as for like the game the the game spot and the um game theories and all this stuff that they, they, their videos have not been age gated so at least as of this recording i'll be surprised if youtube does something about it to be honest with you but i think it's completely unfair it just is you're, you're gonna age gate a fictional fantasy video game it, it's not real life but then you have channels out there that have done the same thing i mean you have channel like GameSpot. he they did a whole video on fatalities and yet they just roll their eyes at because oh they're bringing in views they're bringing in money youtube stop playing stupid make money off of everyone's content even if it's one damn view it's ridiculous these these the, youtube is the only platform i see play stupid and act like they don't know that when they know more than they come off i mean the vagueness of their terms of service and community guidelines is is unreal <sighs> Anyways, I'm done talking about this for now. That's all I have to say about this for now. Um, I did try to fight this. It went nowhere. I don't know what's next, but I will continue to create content for my viewers. And that's where I'll leave it. I create content for my viewers, not for YouTube and the, and the YouTube overlords that don't give a damn about its small content. They don't, they don't care about their content careers, in my opinion. They just don't. I mean, and for anyone out there that says, yes, they do. I'm going to kiss YouTube's ass and they're, they're going to protect me. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay? Good luck with that. Um, now, if you're a celebrity and whatnot, well, they'll let you do whatever you want. So you're good. Uh, as for everyone else, yeah, different story. But that's all my opinion, too. So. Well, I still have it on YouTube, that is. Anyways, um, if you're new to my channel, depending on where you're watching this, if you're watching this elsewhere, if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to check out the content. And if you like what you see here, of course, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I encourage, I encourage anyone to, you know, follow me everywhere, you know, whether it's the, the Twitters or, or, or Parler or uh, Odyssey, Bish or whatever, just, just follow, subscribe. Um, especially if you're watching this on YouTube, I would encourage it. Uh, they'll follow me because <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to last on this platform. Um, I know I'm following the terms of service. I know I'm following the community guidelines, but YouTube thinks otherwise and they just don't care. That's just how I see it. They, they just really don't. Um, that's all I can say for now on this, um, because there's really no more I can add that no one else hasn't added to the many debacles and problems and issues YouTube seems to be providing to content creators. Like myself, that is. Anyways, as always, this is Ryuki really saying thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Um, share the video if you can. Uh, I mean, I want this, I want this information to spread. People need to know what's going on. And if someone talks about this, they don't have to reference me. I don't care as long as there's more awareness to this age restriction problem. Um, maybe something can be done, but uh, I'm doubtful. And until next time, everyone, sign off.